we're going to look at the distributive law. Now, this word distribute, it's an, it starts from the English word distribute. Now, oh, oh, let's think of how we'd use distribute in English. We'd say, I'm going to distribute food parcels to everybody who needs it. What that means is I'm going to be handing out the food parcels to everybody who needs it. So if you're going to distribute it, distribute something, you're going to give it to everybody who needs it. And that idea is similar in what we see in the maths. When we talk about the distributive law, let me show you what I mean. Have a look at this little three here, right? It is outside this bracket. And that means that this three needs to go it goes with every single thing in those brackets. So, now just remember, if we just put the 3 right next to the bracket, just like if we put 2 right next to the x, what we mean, the operation we're talking about is multiplication, right? Remember, that's just something we do in algebra. We leave out the multiplication sign. So if we've just written it next to it like that, we mean multiply. So this 3 needs to multiply with everything in this bracket. And if we're going to get rid of the bracket, what we're going to do is we're going to distribute the 3. We're going to give the 3 to the 2x, and we're also going to give the 3 to the 5, right? We need to make sure it goes with both. We hand it out to both the things. Okay, so let's see how that works in practice. If we want to multiply out these brackets, we have to make sure that we multiply the 3 with the 2x and that we also multiply the 3 with the minus 5. And so what do we end up getting? Well, 3 multiplied by 2x, 3 times 2 is 6, so we get 6x. And then we need to do the 3 with the 5 minus 5, so we're going to get negative 3 times 5 is 15. And so 3 multiplied with 2x minus 5 is the same as is an equivalent expression of 6x minus 15. These two things will give you exactly the same answer no matter what value of x you put in. All right, so we can be distributing anything. If you have a look here, what we've got that goes with the bracket, 3x is multiplied by the bracket, so it needs to multiply with everything in the bracket. So when we distribute it, we've got to do 3x times 2x, and we've got to do 3x times 5y. So let's do 3x times 2x. If we're going to do, let me just do a little scribble down here, 3x times 2x, right? This is where all our things are going to come together now, our, um, our um, exponents and everything, all right? 3 times 2 gives me 6, and x times x, that gives me x squared. So I've distributed 3x with the 2x. Now I've also got to do it with the 5y. So what I've got to do is 3x times 5y. 3 times 5 gives me 15, um, and x, y, they can't combine into squares or anything, it's just x times y. So, 3x squared, this and this are equivalent expressions. If I put a particular value of x and y into this, it'll give me exactly the same answer if I put those values of x and y into this, right? These two things are basically give you the same answer. All right. The one that we need to be very careful of is when we've got minus signs. Because when we distribute this minus 3x in, it's the whole minus 3x that needs to go in. So this minus 3x must go with that, and it must also multiply with that. So let's again just um, take ourselves down to the side and see what happens. What we've got to do here for that first one is we're going to say minus 3x multiplied by 2x. Right, a negative times a positive gives me a negative. 3 times 2 gives me 6, and x times x gives me x squared. The next thing I have to do is I'm going to have to multiply this negative 3x with negative 
4y. And look what happens here. The negative times the negative gives me a positive, right? So I need to be very, very careful here. This negative affects what happens here, right? Negative times negative gives me positive. 3 times 4 gives me 12. And then we've got xy. Okay, here's a nice one I want you to try now. Pause the video and take out your key concepts book um, and do this question. First of all, multiply out the brackets and then after that, collect together any like terms so you can simplify this nicely. Okay, let's see if what you've done was correct, right? We distribute this 5 goes with this and with that. So 5 times 2x gives me 10x, 5 times 3 gives me 15. Then this goes with this and this. The x goes with the 3x and the minus 2. And I need to be very cautious because I've got that negative time. So negative times positive gives me negative. x times x is x squared, so I've got 3x squared. And then when I do this next one, I've got a negative times a negative, which gives me a positive. And x times 2, we write nicely as 2x. We've now done the distributing. We can then simplify this by looking for like terms. So let's start by having a look at this 10x. Does it have any friends? Remember, like terms have to be exactly the same letter and with the same power. And so it's only the 2x that it is its friend. Uh, the 15, it would have to just be another number to be a like term. There's no other plain number. And this 3x squared, it's an x squared. There's no other thing with x squared, so it's got no other like term. So it's just these two like terms that we can combine. 10x plus 2x gives me 12x. And so the others just stay as they are. And we're done.